Greetings and a warm welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. My name is Pastor Bob Schaefer, and I'm delighted to have you here with us. Today is Sunday, April 23rd, the third Sunday of Easter. Now let's observe a moment of silence to center our minds and hearts. Let's pray. O God, your Son makes himself known to all his disciples in the breaking of bread. Open the eyes of our faith, that we may see him in his redeeming work, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24. Now that very day, two of them were on their way to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking to each other about all the things that had happened. While they were talking and debating these things, Jesus himself approached and began to accompany them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. Then he said to them, What are these matters that you are discussing so intently as you walk along? And they stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, named Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who doesn't know the things that have happened there in these days? He said to them, What things? The things concerning Jesus, the Nazarene, they replied, a man who, with his powerful deeds and words, proved to be a prophet before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and rulers handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. Not only this, but it is now the third day since these things happened. Furthermore, some women of our group amazed us. They were at the tomb early this morning, and when they did not find his body, they came back and said they had seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. Then some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but they did not see him. So he said to them, You foolish people, how slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Wasn't it necessary for the Christ to suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them the things written about himself in all the scriptures. So they approached the village where they were going. He acted as though he wanted to go further, but they urged him, Stay with us, because it is getting towards evening, and the day is almost done. So he went in to stay with them. When he had taken his place at the table with them, he took the bread, blessed it, and broke it, and gave it to them. At this point, their eyes were opened, and they recognized him. Then he vanished out of their sight. They said to each other, didn't our hearts burn within us while he was speaking with us on the road, while he was explaining the scriptures to us? So they got up that very hour and returned to Jerusalem. They found the, the eleven and those with them gathered together and saying, The Lord has really risen and has appeared to Simon. Then they told what had happened on the road and how they recognized him when he broke the bread. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Having immersed ourselves in the word of God, let us now come together in prayer. If you feel inclined, I invite you to join me in praying out loud. There's great value in lifting our voices in unison to the Lord. Thanks to technology, we can connect and be unified in the power of the Spirit, despite the physical distance between us. With that in mind, let us pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. 
Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. On this day that the Lord has made, let us pray for the people he has redeemed. That we may live as those who believe in the triumph of the cross, Lord, hear our prayer. That all people may receive the good news of his victory, Lord, hear our prayer. That those born to new life in the waters of baptism may know the power of his resurrection, Lord, hear our prayer. that those who suffer pain and anguish may find healing and peace in the wounds of Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. That in the undying love of Christ, we may be united with all who have died in the faith of Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us commend the world in which Christ rose from the dead to the mercy and protection of God. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. That concludes our time together. Thank you for taking a few moments to join us today. We hope it's been a source of blessing for you. If you enjoyed this video, show us your support by giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and sharing it with your loved ones. We also invite you to visit us online at goodshepherdlife.org, where you can learn more about our ministry and make a donation to support our work. Thank you for being a part of our life together and for your generosity. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.